Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel on Bushka. And that's right, we've got an old 2017 feel to this one, uh, because, <laughs> well, more than that, 2015, because I used the old intro uh, from back when the game was very, very different, and I used the full intro of saying hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, which means you don't start watching a video till about 45 seconds in. And that's like YouTube suicide. But who gives a damn? This is our channel. This is our time. This is our tankity tanky big tankers. I've been having a huge lot of fun running this particular tank here of late. This is the Camp Panzer 50T. Uh, it is a tank that I wanted to make a video about for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, I think this is the best camo in the game. It is legitimately amazing. Uh, and... One of the reasons I used the old intro is I wanted to highlight just how far the camos have come in Blitz and how much better the eye candy is in Blitz than it used to be and how much more customizable the skins are than they used to be. When I kind of finished up with Blitz and started PUBG mobiling full time, um, I made sure that I had the Ole 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 camos on every tank the blue and white ones on all the tanks that I wanted to keep anyway, the tanks that were a bit OP at the time. And that was kind of crazy having that camo because it was very, very different. You just mostly had your stock camos and then there was occasionally a, a, a weird camo you could get that was cool, but different. Um, and you look at this tank now and the modeling and the bells and whistles and the, the, the worn look of the paint job and the, the camouflage on it for those kind of cool climates. It's just incredible. And quite apart from that, I love playing it because this tank actually plays a lot like one of my old favorites, the Object 140. Now, I've been playing a little bit of Object 140 just to get in the groove for this as well because I had a, a sneaking suspicion that I wasn't going to love the 140 as much as I used to, and that was borne out. The 140 for me has been power crypt a little by tanks like this. Um, once upon a time, the 140, and isn't this just a Bushka review where it's a review about the Camp Panzer 50T, but we're going to spend time talking about a Russian medium from seven years ago, eight years ago, nine years ago. Um, the 140's turret originally had a very small weak point on the top and was otherwise impervious. Uh, and it was top of the line in terms of DPM, and it had a uh, super cool mobility profile that was just about the best in the tier. Fast forward now to 2023 and that's just not the case anymore and what I love about this tank the 50T is that it gives you that 140 style of gameplay from way back in the day. The turret I'm not saying that the turret is impervious to damage. I'm not saying that at all. Hell I've been done through the spaced kind of reactive armor on either side of the mantlet uh, that you can see there on your screen plenty of times. What I'm saying is that the turret is more reliable for me than most of the other medium turrets. I mean, this is not really, we're not talking about a T22. Um, it's not that kind of crazy, but it's got a strong turret. You're going to need to be hitting it flat on with about 260 millimeters plus to pen it. And if it's up at all using the gun depression and it has eight degrees of gun depression, you're getting up into the high 200s, 300 millimeters of pen before you start making any inroads. And it's got the same upper plate kind of cool going on. Although it is a weird thing in that it's a pike nose, which is quite strange to have a German tank with a pike. It's a unique looking vehicle too. It's like a fat little pie eater. It's only very small, but it's a solid unit. Um, and it can fulfill a variety of roles. One of the things you're going to see about this game is I've realized that the team's going to go town and so I'm not going to overextend. And what I'm going to try and do is buy spotting damage with my hit point pools and use the armor and everything to get that done. And that's something you can do with this. Um, you can get bounces. You can actually get quite a few bounces on this, but it's not always super reliable. You've got to have it in the right position to do that. Uh, and you've got to move very quickly because if you don't, that is one area where this tank can be taken advantage of. It is not as mobile as a 140. In fact, its terrain resistance stats are good for tanks overall, but they're not what you'd call best in game kind of thing. Like you, 
your medium tank solid and that's about it which a tier 10 medium tank is a very mobile beast uh if you're in tier 9 you'd be outstanding etc 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 but you've just got to accept the fact that you're not the fastest duckling in the water your camo is also likewise not top of the tier what you do have though is very good medium tank armor and an obscene amount of damage per minute an absolutely obscene amount of dpm the leopard does 3771 dpm you do 3677 dpm but you deliver it in a very odd 320 alpha burst and that's strange because this tank it's it's normally like if you're going to run a gun it's like 310 that's your 105 millimeter object 140s so that's your your 310 is your 140s 260 28s when you start hitting that 105 you start hitting 350 like on a leopard gets 360 it's a little bit more than that and that's something that wargaming have done these days but they originally wouldn't really move too much from that if you wanted 105 millimeters you were going to get 350 alpha if you were running uh 120 millimeters you were going to get 460 alpha that was it was just a rule and they've really tinkered a lot with the way the alpha damage works and i think it's been a really good balance tool that they've explored and you've seen this game's been really successful but it's been successful in a very different manner to the next game that i'm going to show you um which i think is a, a nice drive in this gun and uh, this tank on full screen and in that game we've actually facing another uh camp panzer 50t so we'll see how that goes the tank while i love it i'm not about to tell you that this is like an overpowered tier 10 medium it's not there's not a lot of bad tanks in tier 10 well i don't think there's really any bad tanks we do four and a half thousand spotting damage use that uh four and a half thousand spotting damage 2k damage and we get the mastery low bar for a mastery on this because you just don't see this tank very often and it's one of the reasons why i love it too it's it's not a tank you see a lot of and i don't think that's because it's particularly horrific i think it's just basically it's a, a tank that you don't see a lot of it's not what you would call a a normal kind of tank um it's a rare tank it's a tank you're only going to get out of crates or things like that you don't get the spaced armor on the side but you do get uh you do get a sloped armor profile on the side so you've got a 70 millimeter sloped very steeply angled uh bit of armor on that side and that can cause you to also get some very cool bounces you can see that there uh very nice so we are rolling the top of falls creek hasn't this map changed an awful lot the cap circle used to be basically right in the middle of the map uh slightly to the left of the A cap here, more centered around where the B cap is, but a little bit closer. Uh, and we're rolling up here with what is all good intents, but the red team have gone very, very passive. You can see that hatch, and it's a great, great example of why you can't sit stationary in this tank. If you're stationary and you're hull down and you're relying on the turret to constantly bounce, especially when targets are above you, then you are both minimizing your armor profile and minimizing the amount of damage you're going to be able to handle or the amount of damage output you're going to be able to handle uh we're being very very careful here and resetting our camo constantly keeping the angles up and we want to really get to the flank my plan here is to use this tubby little grubs uh medium pace and get right out to that flank to that far corner that you can see there and get side shots and basically collapse this 50t because we've got a, a really solid team here if you have a look at where the team is here they are all moved up on the inside of me and are absolutely being aggressive and and holding form now it is a supremacy cap and that can sometimes cause problems in these games even when you feel like you've got the upper hand you look away and the next thing you know the the whole thing's gone to hell in a handbasket the t100 lt is on the inside and we take that opportunity again to get a little bit closer to our eventual destination i'm waiting for him to fire or give me a side shot i'm not bleeding which is important you just can't bleed there's an e75 up there sniping i bet you his team is loving him and giving him many compliments in the chat uh he's hit the adrenaline he's obviously got a target in mind so we're gonna go past have a little cheeky snap and see if we can't get to this corner and now we're in a nice spot because we've obviously put this poor guy 
in a really tough situation. He's having to pick and choose who he's angling to. Uh, he's getting caught turret turning. And as long as we're moving up here, we're just ex exacerbating that pressure. A little worried about the T100LT, but I'm trying to keep that rock there in front of me in a position where he can't get easy shots in. And I had one saved for him. He gets nailed by the Emil, the Panzer 50T, as he crosses around. And although we are seeming to do the business out here, we're on 2.5K or 2,300. He's just going to get away that E75 before I return serve. Um, we are down by 200. Got to clear this T100 LT. Get a track shot. Perfect. Exactly what you want. And the gun is fine. The gun is actually quite lovely. Um, it's a 0 0.308 dispersion. Again, comparing that to our old mate, the Object 140, which is, I mean, I'm not picking on the 140. I just feel like that's the play style this feels like to me. That's 0.317. Now, I run, usually run the dispersion mod rather than the uh, than the aim time mod. I find that just helps more overall. I think there clearly I should have been running the dispersion, the aim time mod. And we're slowly dragging spec. The Emil's having a great game. He's playing a, such a strong game here. This is a bollocks, absolute bollocks. But then again, I get the bounce back. So you can't feel too bad about that. Type 68. Get that down. Waffle tractor goes down. Emil does the business there as well. Just the one left. Uh, finally get a shot in on that E75. Going low. He's going to overlook that cap, so I don't really want to get stuck in here for too long. Going to push on down. Push on through. He's not coming. Just going to break this cap. Make sure he doesn't get stuck. Yep, done. Uh, and now we have the circle advantage. And I don't I don't feel like this guy can cause any trouble for me, so I'm just going to push up and hit him. Well, that's the 50T. It's a hell of a good tank. If you ever get a chance to get this and it doesn't cost you too much, it's a pretty unique feeling tank to drive. Um, it's got that old school vibe. Going hull down, doing corner business, um, looking for action. And for me, that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I uh, hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. Stick around. Enjoy the channel. I'm Bushka. Look after yourself. Stay safe on the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now. Low mastery is on this thing too.